Welcome to the Unitronics Remote Operator Webinar. My name is Alexander Martin. I am an Applications Engineer at Unitronics. I will explain how to configure and use our remote operator software with our controllers. These are the basic functions for a remote operator. The remote operator program enables you to connect from a PC remotely by a serial or TCP IP connection. It will allow you to operate the HMI as if you are at the controller in person. It also works to control multiple controllers simultaneously. You can connect to any of our Vision, M91, or Jazz Series controllers. Some benefits of using remote operator include being able to connect to PLCs that are difficult to access if they are enclosed or within a cabinet. Connecting to multiple controllers simultaneously, you will be able to monitor entire network that would not be possible in person if the controllers are spaced far apart. It is also helpful if you want to monitor the status of critical systems or make changes uh, while away. And you can also acknowledge alarm messages. I will now show you how to set up remote operator. You start a remote operator and you add PLCs on the left. As you can see, we already have two set up, but I will go through the process of setting up a third um, to show you all the steps required to ensure a proper connection. Next, we click on the communication setting icon. For those of you that are familiar with VisiLogic, the connection settings are much the same. We select how it is connected. Uh, this controller is connected uh, direct, directly to the PLC, so I will select serial. You also need to select the correct baud rate as you would in VisiLogic. You can also choose Ethernet call if you are trying to access the controller to a network. Um, you will need to enter the specific controller's IP address and connect using an open port. Our controllers each have four sockets to communicate through, so make sure to access one that is not in operation. If multiple PCs are connecting at the same time via Ethernet, please ensure that each uh, is connecting to a different available socket. If using an Infora modem with our M91 or Jazz series controllers, please know that it only has one port available. If the port is in use for text or email, it will not be available for remote access. You can also select the network ID if you are connecting to a CAN bus or RS485 network. Uh, as I said before, we will be connecting using a serial connection over COM3. I've defined the PLC name previously in the program as V570ROV. This can be defined with a function block within VisiLogic, or if it is already defined, viewed from your controller via info mode within software information. Please note, it is not possible to connect to a controller if you do not have the PLC name. Once we have defined the communication parameters, click check to make sure we can make a proper connection with the controller. It will now display all the PLC model and software information. You can also add the connection to favorites if it is regularly accessed. We can now run remote operator. As you can see, the images I have on my HMI are not, uh, HMI are not displaying. The color vision series will not initially display any images created in the project. Standard, M91, and Jazz series will display images, but they will not load as quickly. All images are stored on the PLC, but without specific files, remote operator will not be able to display them. This is easy to correct by creating cache files containing the images. This will then allow the user to view the images as they are displayed on the PLC, or in the case of standard series, load quicker. There are two different ways to create cache files. One way is directly through remote operator. We select the cache file icon when not running, and choose create cache file URC from PLC. You will need to select a file name for the cache file. We can just call this one test, and click next. Fonts and images will then be uploaded from the PLC and stored into the cache file. 
This file will be saved uh, within the remote operator's cache folder on your computer and can be accessed for later use. Once saved, the remote operator will automatically load the file for use. Now we can click Finish. Uh, I will also show you the other way of creating a cache file using Visilogic. I'll open Visilogic. Um, within Visilogic, um, you can collect, uh, click on Project, Create Project Files, and click on the third tab. As it shows here, there are two different file options. There are URA files for the monochrome vision controllers and the URC files for the color series. Click on Create File. You can save a specific name and specify exactly where you want to save it on your local drive. Then when back in Remote Operator, you can select the same cache file icon, select Import Cache File, and select the file name where you'd saved it previously. Since the cache file has already been loaded, we can run Remote Operator again. And as you see, now the images are displaying correctly. We can now use the mouse and keyboard to control the HMI display. <coughs> When running, we can navigate through the different HMI displays and use the mouse and keyboard to operate the controller, the same as if you were in front of it. There are a few options when running that you are able to use. You can choose to view or not view the case, if that is desired. There is a refresh button setting for the V120, V200, and V530 that will refresh the, refresh the HMI at a desired rate. You have the option of setting a background color if desired. And there are also interpolation um, options that are helpful if you have multiple monitors and scaling the images on the controller to smaller sizes. Also help for the options on the right. There is copy picture, which will copy what is displayed on the HMI at that moment. You can directly save the image as a bitmap. print the display being shown, or go into full screen mode for a single controller. If you are viewing multiple controllers at once, there are several options for how they are displayed. You can dock individual controllers and select them by the tabs up top individually. You can cascade them and arrange them as you would like. Or you can also tile them horizontally or vertically. When you're done operating, you can click Stop to end the connection. Afterwards, you can save the project, which will save all PLC connection information that has been defined within the remote operator project. There are also several startup settings, if you wish to use them. You can choose to start remote operator when Windows starts, or when opening, you can choose to always load a new project, a certain project, or the last project that was open. Also, selecting RDP or VNC mode will remove the fade in and fade out for splash screens. Sometimes they can take too long to load. This concludes how to use remote operator. I hope you found the information helpful. Thank you.